Hello friends, today is going to be the start of a six part IGTV series on um, how to support your immune system. I'm calling it Immune Support 101. And we're just gonna talk about some vitamins and minerals that are really important for ideal um, immune function as we head into cold and flu season in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, I know it's only August, but it's back to school time. <clears throat> And I'm a teacher, so I always associate, you know, this time of year with cold and flu season because I always would get sick. Um, not anymore, though. Anyways, so let's talk about vitamin A today and um, just a little bit of introduction and then some misinformation about a vitamin A. And I'm looking at my screen because I've got my notes over here. Um, so vitamin A can only come from animal-based sources. Carotenoids, which we can also call them pro-vitamin A, um, means they can be converted into vitamin A, but they are not vitamin A as they stand um, and you need some certain things so it needs to be like this perfect situation in order for that conversion to happen you need um, a healthy liver your liver does the conversion and so you need a liver that is functioning well in order to convert it from carotenoids into vitamin A you also need thyroid hormones and you need zinc and vitamin C in order to make that conversion happen so if if those things aren't right in the right perfect balance in your body, then you're not gonna be converting things over. Um, uh, Animal-based sources of vitamin A are very safe um, and they're hard to overconsume because you're not gonna easily, you're not gonna overeat you know, food forms of vitamin A. You're, it's gonna be hard to do that. Um, and not all carotenoids can even be converted into vitamin A, only some of them. So sometimes we think, oh, it has a lot of carotenoids. Um, that's not always the case. So, um, like beta cryptoxanthin, lutein, zeaxanthin, and lycopene cannot be easily converted over. Also, um, true vitamin A, you might hear it called vitamin uh, preformed vitamin A or retinol. Okay, here's why we need it. It's good for lung health, bone health. This list is long, by the way. Uh, cancer prevention it allows your body to use the minerals that we ingest in our food. It's needed for growth and development, really important. Um, supports the mucous membranes. Mucous membranes on your face include you know, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, um, and hair and skin as well, and also your airways, your digestive system, your urinary tract. It supports a lot of systems in the body. Really helps with eyesight, so it's really one of those things that can be helpful to keeping your eyes strong. Um, the biggest reason why we're here is that it supports immune function. Um, this is one of the biggest things that we are looking for right now in our world. Um, it's a, a also really important for reproduction, especially um, embryonic development is really important. And it is an antioxidant, acts as an antioxidant in the body. Um, like I mentioned, it's one of those a the ACEs that we call them. I learned in nutrition school, um, A C E. Uh, selenium and zinc so that's vitamin a vitamin c vitamin e selenium and zinc uh, also helps with red blood cell production and what i was reading when i was doing research for this was that what's really important to note and i found this somewhere else is that um we need this in balance with vitamin d so it's hard to look at a supplementation of a vitamin A when we are so, so deficient as a people, uh, you know, a country, just a generation um, in vitamin D. So it really, you need a higher um, concentration of vitamin D to vitamin A. And so supplementation can be a little tricky in that way. So we really wanna make sure we are getting those vitamin, vitamin D from those sources, which we'll talk about in a few days. So stay tuned. Okay, here's where you can get it. What food sources have vitamin A? I'm always going to promote food forms first, always. Uh, uh, it's in fats, it's in fats. So if you have a low fat diet, it's a, it's a fat soluble nutrient. So if you have a low fat diet, you're not going to be getting um, vitamin A. So just food for thought there. It's in liver. I know everyone's favorite food, also in kidneys, which might be why you want to take like one of those sort of organ complex things like a supplement, I mean. Um, it's in cheese, buttercream, any kind of uh, grass-fed, full-fat, um, raw dairy will have a fair amount of vitamin A. Um, cod liver oil, I take cod liver oil twice a day. Um, I can tag the brand that I take here so that you can see what I've been taking for the past, gosh, maybe five years. Uh, fish, poultry, uh, shellfish, and it's in the yolk, so eat 
the yolks shout out to liz wolf um i checked out her references and her information for more on vitamin a in there um, and just a couple of notes on vitamin a um the fda has allowed beta carotene that preformed i mean that precursor to vitamin a to be labeled as vitamin a so if you're seeing vitamin a on labels sometimes that's because They've lumped it all together, even though we know, as I just explained, that it's not, they're not the same. They're not equal, and in the right conditions, they can be vitamin A for your body, but it's not always that way. So there's some misinformation there. So this is why, like, a whole foods, real foods-based diet is really important. Um, and there's conflicting information, but, you know, generally speaking, most people talk about vitamin A can be toxic in high doses. Um... In checking out Liz's book and rereading that book for a second really it's that vitamin D vitamin A ratio that's really important we need more vitamin D to the vitamin A in order to have it not be toxic so if your vitamin A is if vitamin A is toxic it's probably because your vitamin D is out of whack but just to note that um, and um, about 5,000 international units IU is about the max we want to be getting from a supplement if we're worried about that vitamin A toxicity all right, guys, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be talking about the next thing in the ACEs, which will be vitamin C. Have a great day.